Welcome to part three of the VRMA tutorial series. In this uh, one, we're going to set up the magazine so you can load and eject bullets. You will not be able to load it into the gun quite yet. That's for the next tutorial. So all I've done is created a copy of the mesh from the gun, and I've added a couple bullet meshes. Uh, I'll show what that's for later. First thing we're going to do is copy uh, the AKM magazine highlight we created in the first tutorial and put one on the new magazine. Uh, make sure you zero out the position of the highlight. And then we're going to add a few components to the root transform of the magazine. The first being a rigid body. The second being a box collider. The third being an interaction volume. Uh, the magazine itself. We're going to add a multi-tags component. Uh, so I already have an AKM magazine tag created here, so I'm just going to click assign. But what you're going to do is uh, create one and click add new tag. And the last component we're going to add is a sphere collider. And uh, make sure it's a trigger. Um, resize the sphere collider radius to 0 0.01 or 0 0.1, 0 0.03, excuse me. Set the Z position to 0 0.1 and the Y position to 0 0.03. So this trigger collider is just um, the trigger that the bullet has to enter before it can be loaded into the magazine. Okay, so scroll back up to the interaction volume. You can drag the highlight we added to the magazine into the highlight field under interaction volume. Uh, click overlap so you can grab the magazine in between hands. I like to drop the magazine with grip, but that's a personal preference. Drag the interaction volume into the primary grip field for magazine. You can increase the set position and rotation speed. Make sure you have a curve set. The size is just for inventory slots, but uh, set it to one. And then we're going to need to set up an eject transform. This is where the bullet will come out of when we uh, eject it. So just create an empty game object on the magazine. Uh, name it eject. And then search for cube pistol bullet in your project. And drag it onto eject. Uh, make sure you have eject selected instead of the bullet transform and position it where you want the bullet to eject out of the gun. Right there works for me. Uh, delete the cube pistol bullet prefab. Drag eject into the eject field under magazine. So the bullets list is, um, are, are the, excuse me, the renders for these bullets and when the magazine is loaded these renders will be shown and when you empty the magazine they will be hidden so just drag uh, bullets if you have them made into the bullets list bullet tag will be Q or uh, Q bullet and then drag Q pistol bullet prefab into the bullet clone field we're gonna set the max rounds to 10 and the current rounds to 10. Uh, you can set this to 30, but I want to demonstrate something and it's a lot easier to demonstrate with uh, only 10 rounds. So if we click, click play, Let's see, we can pick up our magazine, grab it in between hands and eject bullets can also load them back in, but you can see if I eject all of them, the mesh renders will start to disappear, and when I load them back in, they will reappear. That concludes part three.